Rock History Highlights July 25th has been a significant date in the annals of rock history, marked by notable events, releases, and performances. From the unveiling of new band members to the release of iconic albums, this day has witnessed its fair share of memorable moments. Let's take a journey through time and explore some of the reasons why July 25th holds a special place in the hearts of rock music enthusiasts. KISS introduces new drummer Eric Carr. On July 25, 1980, legendary rock band KISS unveiled their new drummer Eric Carr at New York's Palladium. Initially, Carr's makeup was intended to resemble a hawk, but the end result bore a closer resemblance to Big Bird. In a quick pivot, the decision was made to transform his appearance to that of a fox, cementing his iconic look within the band. Ace DC releases Back in Black. Also on July 25, 1980, Australian rock giants ACDC released their highly anticipated album Back in Black. This release marked the band's first album since the tragic death of lead singer Bon Scott. Despite the devastating loss, ACDC persevered and delivered an album that would go on to become a rock classic, reaching number four on the charts and solidifying their place in music history. Beastie Boys dropped Paul's Boutique. Fast forward to July 25, 1989, and we find the Beastie Boys releasing their sophomore album, Paul's Boutique. Named after a store in Brooklyn, this groundbreaking album showcased the trio's evolution from their debut and featured innovative sampling techniques that would influence countless artists in the years to come. Neil Young joins Crosby, Stills, and Nash. Rewinding to July 25, 1969, we witness a historic moment as Neil Young appeared with Crosby, Stills, and Nash for the very first time. This collaboration took place at the Fillmore East in New York, marking the birth of one of rock's most iconic supergroups. The addition of Young's distinctive voice and guitar playing elevated the band to new heights. Air Supply tops the charts. In 1981, on July 25th, soft rock duo Air Supply achieved a milestone as their song, The One That You Love, reached the coveted number one spot on the charts. This romantic ballad became an instant classic, cementing Air Supply's status as one of the most successful acts of the era. Metallica embraces digital music. Jumping ahead to July 25, 2006, we find metal legends Metallica making a significant shift in their stance on digital music. After famously leading the charge against file-sharing service Napster, the band surprised fans by making four of their albums available for purchase on iTunes. This move included classic releases such as Kill Em All, Ride the Lightning, Master of Puppets, and, and Justice For All. So whether you're a diehard fan of these bands or simply appreciate the impact they've had on music history, take a moment to reflect on the significance of July 25th. Share your thoughts and memories in the comments below and let us know which of these events resonate with you the most. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating journeys through rock history. Until next time, keep rocking and celebrating the music that has shaped our lives.